All right, so a couple years back, I had one of my close buddies end up getting dumped by his girlfriend. And almost the same day that this happened, when he was crushed, he was really, really depressed, he was drinking a lot, smoking a lot, he said, I'm gonna get super fit and prove to her who's wrong. So basically, he was gonna get ultra fit to prove to her basically like what she's missing and the mistake she made. Now in today's video, I'm gonna share with you guys why this is a really bad idea. It's a really bad idea to get fit for somebody else. Hey guys, Alex Hine here, author of Master of the Day. Now look, I know, for reason number one, I know it looks like it makes sense to show your evil she-bitch of an ex-girlfriend or ex-boyfriend or ex-husband, wife, whatever, how good you are now and what they're missing and the mistake they made. But for starters, let's talk about the problem with motivation, right? If you create something that motivates you, what happens when it's gone? So if you're being motivated by this hatred, this Cruella de Vil figure in your previous life, and then suddenly, let's say theoretically, two, three, four, five years go by, and then you get ultra fit, and you look great, you've reached your goal, there's no more hatred for that person, maybe you've even forgotten them and met someone new. Well, what happens if now your fuel to go to the next level is gone because you were using the hatred of this person who basically no longer exists in your life, and maybe you've replaced them, where does your fuel source go? If it was the hatred rather than being driven to look better because you want to be, well, now you've lost your fuel source. So I'm a really big believer in finding sources of motivation that are evergreen, that will always drive you, which is why loving what you do and doing something for a higher purpose is so motivating in the long run. This is not a six-month game. Getting fit or relationship or traveling the world or doing what you love, they are not a one-month, a two-month, a six-month game. They're three, five, and ten-year games. They're lifetime games. So is this motivational source really going to get you to the end? I don't know. Now the second thing is revolving around self-identity. So if you've watched some of my other videos talking about Dr. Maxwell Maltz, I'm gonna quickly recap, but essentially Dr. Maltz was a plastic surgeon. And in the late 1800s, going into the mid 1900s, and he would perform plastic surgery on these people to make themselves look more beautiful, to have more confidence. They would say things like, I want to improve my nose or my chest or whatever so I can feel better about myself but a very small percentage of his patients never actually ended up feeling better. Their self-esteem never recovered despite the physical appearance that so bothered them had been changed. And he was kind of puzzled, you know, he's scratching his head. Well, you said your nose is why you're unconfident, but I changed your nose, so why are you not confident anymore? And what he realized was that a person's self-identity, meaning who they believe they are, I am a confident person, I'm a lovable or an unlovable person, I can achieve things or I can't achieve things, that self-identity was stronger than the physical appearance than physical reality. And we only act in accordance with that self-identity. Well, the thing to think about is that then your self-identity is based on essentially this negative emotion of hatred. And first of all, it's not really good inside of you to harbor that. Chinese medicine has a lot to say on that. But in general, as far as a long-term strategy, you want to be the kind of person whose self-identity is based around growth. And this is not a growth kind of mindset or a growth kind of self-identity. Rather, what's really important is to have the self-identity that I'm going to the gym to improve myself because this is the kind of person I want to become. Not, I hate my ex and I hope somebody hits her with a car. Rather, this is the kind of person I want to be because I respect, admire, and like this kind of person. Now, the third thing I want to leave you here is that generally the best reason to make a change in anything in life is for yourself. Now, if I'm being totally transparent, most of the changes I made, getting from 110, 15 pounds to now 170, from hating every job I had and making $30,000 a year, to being self-employed with books, with these videos, with my own business, from being single and always hating being single to having a girlfriend, from not doing the things I always wanted to traveling the world, I'm, if I'm being totally transparent, these were all because I was unhappy and I hated the life that I had. So at a certain level at the start, it was hatred driving me. So maybe at the start it will help you, but these days it looks very different. And I had to go through many different steps of the ladder of motivation because at the start, hatred can drive you. The hatred of looking in the mirror and hating how you look. The hatred of showing up at that job. But eventually at some point, you're going to need a new fuel source. So those are just my two cents why you should not get fit for another person 
I've coached many people that have done this, and two or three years down the line, they tend to relapse almost always because they weren't doing it for themselves to improve their future for themselves. They're doing it for this imaginary person that at some point vanishes and doesn't exist anymore. So before you guys go, I want you to leave a comment right there below. Let me know for you, have you ever gotten fit for a person? And what are your thoughts on this? Tell me right there below. Hey guys, Alex here. Now, I hope you liked that video. If you liked it, there's a couple more things you should do that will help you. First thing is to click that monk dude to subscribe to get the next video right when it's out. Come over to my site, modernhealthmonk.com. You can grab that free guide there, which is five daily habits to help you lose your next 20 or 30 pounds. Again, that's a totally free guide. An intro to my approach, and you'll get the first chapter of my book for free there as well. And then come watch my latest video. I want your feedback and your thoughts. And otherwise, I will catch you in the next video.